guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been highly requested. So a few weeks ago, I did a video on the Chanel Christmas Collection and the Dior Christmas Collection. And in those videos, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a video on how to get gifts and samples from luxury makeup brands. And the overwhelming response was yes. So that is today's video. So before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. So let me first start off by saying that these suggestions that I'm going to give to you guys are not uh, dogma. So I cannot promise that you are going to get gifts and samples just by listening to my suggestions. I'm, these are things that I recommend for you guys, but I can't promise you anything. So I'm just putting that as a disclaimer before someone complains or flags my video because there's crazy people out so there. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, most luxury makeup brands like Chanel, Dior, Marc Jacobs, Tom Ford, those ones, they are not a gift with purchase cosmetics line. If you absolutely need to get a gift or a sample every time you make a purchase, I suggest brands like Lancome, Clinique, Estee Lauder, Biotherm, Kiehl's. Those are brands that do massive gifts with purchase several times throughout the year. Those are the brands that will always give you goodies and samples. I'm just putting that out there. Like, you have the brands that never give gifts and you have the brands that always give gifts. You decide. And also, just because you buy something doesn't mean that a makeup company owes you something. I know we all like to get gifts, we all like to get samples, but just because you make a purchase doesn't mean that your sales associate owes you something. So just keep that in mind. So in this video, I will be talking mostly about Chanel and Dior because those are the brands that I've had the most experience with. So I just feel more comfortable talking about the cosmetics brands that I've actually you know, dealt with more. Okay, so my first tip for you guys is find your flagship cosmetics counter. For example, Chanel. We have several makeup counters of Chanel in Montreal. We have several different Hudson Bay department stores. There is an Ogilvy, there's a Holt Renfrew, there's a Mural. Like those are all places where you can get Chanel. However, the flagship Chanel counter is at the Bay St. Catherine downtown. This is the highest volume counter. It has the highest sales objectives. It has the highest traffic, I'm assuming. It has the highest number of staff. So this counter receives more samples and gifts than all the other ones around it because they have higher traffic, they have, they have higher objectives and goals. So they're, the company's gonna pump them more with samples and gifts to kind of you know help with the sales. That's how it works. So what's something I would recommend for you guys is once you find your flagship location, go into Google and type in the, the address of the department store, the makeup counter, whatever it is. So Google will give you the address and some information. And on the side, on the right, it'll also give you the hours of operation and the peak times that it's like the most busy at. So I would just recommend going at the opposite of the peak time because that way you will feel more comfortable approaching the counter and talking to an associate. Okay, so now that you've found your flagship counter location and you have found the slowest time of day and day of the week, you can either go into the counter itself or just call. And what you're going to do is you're going to ask them when their next event is. You're not going to ask when the next gift with purchase is because they'll tell you they don't have one. So what you're going to ask is when is your next gala? When, uh, when is the next time your makeup artists are coming in store to do makeup? When is your next launch? When is your next event? Christmas is around the corner. There's obviously going to be big Christmas or holiday themed events in department stores very soon. So whenever there's big events like that, the company will send more gifts and samples around those events. Most of the time, the sales associates will be very forthcoming in letting you know when the events of these dates are because sales associates tend to have very high objectives, like um, sales-wise, for those days. So if you tell them, you know, I'm really interested in X, Y, and Z products, uh, if I come on this day, what, what do I get? Like, are there any extra little bonuses? Are there any things like that? And they might tell you yes, they might tell you no, but this is honestly one of the best things I can suggest for you. Just wait for a gala or a big event like that. Okay, so touching on the galas, makeup events, makeup launches, etc. If um, a sales associate calls you or texts you and tells you that there's a big event on the 13th, there's a pretty good chance that that day is going to have a gift or a sample. So let them know right away that you're interested in purchasing and that you're willing to put products aside for that day. 
So how the gifts and samples work for the big gala events is, let's say for example, a counter has 10 associates. Um, for the gala, they are going to get a boost of gifts and samples for that event. And usually what they do is they divide up the gifts and samples amongst the staff. So every associate is gonna get like seven little makeup pouches like this to give out to their best or favorite clients. So when the date comes around, these associates are going to call their list of clients and they're going to see who's going to book an appointment, who's going to reserve products. So if they call you for an event and you are interested in products, let them know right away because usually uh, when they're going through their list of clients, the ones that reserve first tend to be the ones that get the most gifts and samples because they have a limited quantity and the first it's like first come first serve. Okay, you booked, okay, you get this. You booked, okay, get this. That's kind of how it works. One thing I can guarantee will never work for you is if you walk up to a makeup counter, like a Chanel Dior or whatever, and you just look at the associate and go, hey, what kind of samples you got for me today? Zero. I can guarantee you they will give you zero. This is not the brand where you walk up to them and be like, I would like a sample, please. This is not, this is not gonna work for you. So if you have that mindset, I, I strongly suggest you go to another counter because you're not gonna get a sample from Chanel or Dior that way. I can. 100% guarantee you that. So when you're at the counter itself and you are approaching a sales associate, if you see the sales associate busy doing makeup on a client, I would recommend not tapping on their shoulder or asking them for their help. I would recommend waiting 10 seconds. Honestly, by the time the 10 seconds is up, another sales associate has popped up from the back store, so you'll be served, don't worry about it. So when you're talking with your sales associate, um, let them know that you want to be invited to the events when there's galas, when the makeup artists are coming into town. You let them know that you want to be there for the events. And you can tell them that you are interested in those events because you would like um, extra samples or gifts if there are any. There's a very good chance that the sales associate is going to tell you, no, we don't have gifts, we don't do gifts, we don't have samples. Like, that's fine, um, but if you guys ever do, let me know. I would love to receive some, please and thank you. So the next tip I can give you guys is building a relationship or a friendship with your sales associate. Don't try to ask them like, oh, by the way, um, can we exchange phone numbers? Can I give you my business card? Can I get your business card? I really would like to know when the new collections are gonna be in, when the new events are gonna be. Please just give me a text right away. I wanna be first on the list for the appointments. Give me a text, give me a call, don't be shy. And that way you can kind of build a bit of a relationship. You guys can add each other to social media, whatever helps. As friendly and as nice as your sales associate is to you when you're there in store, they also see hundreds of other faces every day. So they might not recognize you the second day you come in, because they've seen a hundred other faces. So if you keep going to the same location and if you make it a point to see the same person, they're going to remember you more. So if you're loyal to your sales associate and to the counter that they work at, you know, you're helping them with their commission. So there is that incentive to give you more gifts and samples. Okay, so whenever there's a new launch of a perfume, for example, the company will get a boost of samples for that new perfume. It's a very limited boost, but they will get a lot more in store. So if you can coordinate your purchase and the event with that time, you might end up getting more samples because if they have a new launch, they're trying to like pump it up. Okay, so another great tip is if you go on the Chanel website, the makeup website, you can actually um, subscribe to a newsletter and you can be up to date whenever they get new products. So whenever there's gonna be a new launch and there's gonna be new samples out, you can actually be on the mailing list to receive an email that says, go to your counter to get a free sample while limited quantities last. So once you get that email, you run to your counter and you show them the email and you get your free sample. That's it, it's pretty easy. Um, all you have to do is sign up online. I don't think you have to make a purchase for it, but basically just do some research on that. However, make sure to bring the proof of the email with you. Don't just tell them, oh, I received an email from Chanel to get a sample, because I mean, anyone can say that. So, and make sure to go pretty quickly because those samples evaporate. <laughs> they just disappear really quickly. So make sure to get them while the quantities last. Okay, so another comment suggestion that I have, which I know is not very fair, and some of you might not like this, but 
when you purchase luxury cosmetics, the more you buy, the more likely you are to get samples or gifts. If you go in and you buy a lip liner, I can almost guarantee you will not get anything. If you buy the lip liner, lipstick, maybe an eyeshadow palette, maybe they'll give you a sample. I know it's not very fair, I know all these brands are very expensive and it doesn't seem fair to get so little for what you're spending, but this is the reality. Um, most of these luxury makeup brands kind of pride themselves in not giving out samples. Their, their business model is not a gift with purchase brand. So that's just something I need to let you guys know. So touching back on your relationship with your sales associate, like I mentioned, loyalty to the counter and loyalty to the same sales associate will definitely help you in getting gifts and samples. However, know that a lot of times the samples and the gifts are completely out of this associate's hands. Like they're not the ones controlling the quantity of goodies you receive like they're not the ones in control so if they literally cannot give you anything if they don't if there's literally no samples left at the counter don't be mean don't be rude it's not their fault i mean if anything they would give you more just to get you to buy more that's the reality of it so if you are not able to get any gifts or samples don't be mean to the sales associate they didn't deserve it they're there they're just there doing their job they're trying their best so just keep that in mind so I think that's all I have for you guys for today. I hope this video was informative and I hope I gave you guys some good suggestions and tips. If you have any other suggestions that I have not mentioned, leave them down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think of this video. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.